friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. And I am so excited about today's video. So listen, he is being a tirade right now because he is so excited. We have been out walking and playing and he is just all like full of himself right now. But this is Reese. So if you guys hadn't seen the video, Reese is a puppy that we found out in the woods. Well, my husband found him. And he went out and he kind of watched him for about 10 days because he initially didn't want to come to him. But he, he was super scared. And he was super scared and super fearful so my husband went out for 10 days and fed him he made sure that he had food every day and then one day sorry he just knocked the camera one day it was really really cold and he just couldn't take it he was worried about him being out there so he he drove out and the dog immediately came to him, got in the truck, he brought him home, and he's been with us since. We did take him to the vet, and we had him scan to make sure that he didn't have a microchip in him. He did not, so he is ours, and he's back there drinking water. So we, he's a, he was a little puppy when we found him. So. When Scott started feeding him, he was probably only about eight weeks. And when we got him, like he still had puppy breath. We didn't get him to the vet until about three weeks later. That was the earliest appointment we could get. And at that time, the vet put him at about 12 weeks. He was already 31.6 pounds. He is probably about 40 pounds right now. If anybody saw me, they would think I was an abused person. He sleeps in bed with us and he's such a good sleeper, but he gets in between, sleeps with us, and he doesn't really get up, but he'll walk over and he puts his paws on my chest. I have bruises all over my chest because I think he's about 40 pounds already. Sorry about that. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on, big boy. Show him how big you are. Oh, show him. You are in such a mood right now. Um, but he's already housebroken. He will go to the door, tell you that he's got to go out. If you don't see him, he'll give you a little wine. Um, super good boy. So anyways, the vet put him at about 12 weeks. And at that time, he was already the 31.6 pounds. So right now, I think he's about 40 pounds. And... He had, he's really been out of this like puppy nipping, but he's just like, he is rambunctious right now. But he's honestly like a super, he's like a, just a super cuddly, sweet puppy. He's, he is so good and we are so blessed to have him. But so we did the DNA test on him and oh my gosh, it's so exciting, but I'm completely surprised, completely surprised. So the vet expected that he was a Great Dane mix um, or a Doberman Pinscher. We've, people have said, you know, Rottweiler. Now from the beginning, I thought that he was a Catahoula mix for sure uh, because of his Merle patterning. Where'd your toy go? You looking for your toy? His Merle pattering, and then also the fact that he does have web feet. We really didn't know, everything was a guess. So we decided to do a dog DNA on him. We used the Embark test, and it was super easy to swab him, and I'll show you the test. All right, so this is the one that we chose to get. It's the Embark, but we did check out you know, a couple different ones, and this is the one we felt like would be the best for us. Uh, this is the dog DNA test, and it also is a health screening. This is how it came. I paid $150 for this. And this is my first time opening it. 
So it says that the first thing you do is you activate it. So you need to create an, an account. So I'll go on and do that. And then you make sure that it's been 30 minutes since they ate. You swab their lower cheek pouches for 30 to 60 seconds, fully soaking the sponge. Insert the swab into the tube with the tip face down. Close the cap, shake 10 times. Of course, reward your dog for a job well done. And then it gives you everything to mail it back. Mail it back. And so it took about three weeks from the time we sent it off to get the results back. And I'm so excited to have the results. I'm actually really super surprised by them. So the test is so cool because it gives you like so much. It gives you like their traits, like just all kinds of just really cool stuff about them. So the first thing that it gives you is their health. His, his health summary is fantastic. So they do breed relevant genetic conditions as well as they do 214 other genetic conditions that the dog could have. And he is negative for everything. So everything was, you know, nothing detected. So that's all good news. Now, while we were waiting to get, so we got a glimpse of the health stuff. So we knew part of what his breed was going to be because we got a little glimpse of the health stuff first. And then the next day, everything showed up. So they did retinal um, atrophy, urate kidney and bladder stones, different things like that. And he was negative for everything, which was awesome. And then the next thing that they do is the breed. So, so this is the like super exciting part. And I was just really kind of blown away. I was definitely not expecting this. So he does not have, he is not a mutt at all. Like there's, he has two dogs in him and that's it. It is not Great Dane. It is not Doberman Pinscher. And it is not Rottweiler. You, with his coloring, it's sort of what you would have expected, but he actually is 53.2% Catahoula Leopard Dog, which I expected him to, to be Catahoula, and he's got a lot of it in him, and I'm actually really excited about that. So, I mean, they are, Catahoula Leopard Dogs are amazing, amazing dogs. Now, he was definitely intentionally bred because the other 46.8% of him is Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And so from what I've read, they do that as a designer dog. And, you know, they're still, they're like really good hunters. And then the Staffordshire kind of, you know, calms them down a little bit. And he is like a little snuggly poo. He is such a little snuggly poo. And he's just amazing. Now, it also tells you, so under traits, it tells you like how much they think he's going to weigh. And like they think that he is going to weigh like 80 pounds. I have a feeling he's, I hope that he is in that 80 pound range. I still feel like he's probably going to be closer to that 100 because, I mean, he's half of that at 14 weeks. So he has, so he has genetics to be on the larger side. His predicted adult weight is 80 pounds. It says that he's got the different genetic results for the body size. So it, there's one that is an NN, which is associated with a larger body size, and then a GG, 
associated with the larger body size. And then a TT, which is associated with a larger body size. And then another one, another gene that is a GG associated with a larger body size. And then another one, which is a CC, which is associated with a larger body size. So he is going to be a big pup for sure. And then, so this is something that I think is really cool. So just so you know, we did not send them any pictures. We didn't tell them what he looks like. And this is what it says, that he will probably have dark fur. Any light fur will likely be yellow or tan. Pigments will be black or gray fur and skin. And the color dilution will be a non-dilute fur and skin. So his coat color modifiers, it says that he's more likely to have patterned fur, which he does. He has a merle pattern to him that he will be black, brown, and tan coat pattern, which he is. He will have, he will not have a dark mask or grizzle facial fur patterns. He does not. No saddle tan pattern. He does not. He's likely to have some white areas in his coat, which he does. He's got white on his chest and white in his paws. That he is likely to be merle or double or double merle. He is. No mustache, beard, or eyebrows. He does not have them. A short or mid-length coat, which he is a short-length coat. A straight coat, which is true. And it also says he'll have a medium or long muzzle. He does have a medium muzzle. A normal tail, tail length, which is so. He's likely to have He's likely to have hind dew claws. He's likely to have normal muscling. He's likely to have blue eyes, which is true. So when we first got him, I thought he had blue eyes because they were very light, but I think it's just because he was still so young. He actually has green eyes. And then I told you the body size. And like, that is super cool. Like, it is exactly what he looks like. So. I feel really good about his DNA and very, very, very cool. It's, listen, I hope that you guys found this exciting. I found it exciting. I'm really interested to see how big he ends up becoming. And he is such a sweet, sweet dog. He went over there to go to sleep, but we are so blessed to have him and just love him to death. All right, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day and we'll see you later. Bye.